Kyola Deo National Park is a true embodiment of the Sanskrit phrase Vasudheva Kutumbakam, meaning the world is a family. For its role in the coexistence of the wide variety of flora and fauna found here. Home to a staggering 375 bird species, 13 species of snakes, 5 species of lizards, 7 turtle species. This national park was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985. In fact, UNESCO terms the reserve a bird paradise. Located in the city of Bharatpur, in the northwestern Indian state of Rajasthan, about 180 kilometers from the country's capital, New Delhi, the national park takes its name from the temple of a local deity, Kyoladeo, located near the center of the reserve. Spread over an area of about 29 square kilometers, the reserve is locally known as Ghana National Park. What is unique about Bharatpur is that it is a man-made habitat. What is even more unique is that its roots lie in hunting. Breeding grounds for resident and migratory waterfowl from large parts of South Asia. Its dubious distinction as a hunting ground lies firmly buried in its past. Before being declared a protected park in independent India in 1971, subsequently a national park in 1982 and a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985, the reserve acted as a duck shooting reserve for the Maharajas of Bharatpur and also hosted duck shoots in the honour of British viceroys. In the days of British India, when visiting British viceroys were treated to massacres of untold numbers of waterfowl, the placards that celebrated those so-called achievements stand today in mute testimony to the changes in the ethos of conservation in modern India. A third of the total area of Kyoladeo is a wetland. Though the national park is man-made and man-managed, it was developed in a natural depression. The wetlands of the park not being natural, they depend on monsoon rains. Though various bird species live here around the year, the best season for bird watching begins in winter, in the month of November, when due to its strategic location along the Central Asian Migratory Flyway and the presence of water, the park attracts large flocks of waterfowl such as ducks, geese, coot, pelicans and waders. Kyoladeo also acts as a breeding ground for around 115 bird species including the beautiful Saras cranes. The park becomes an enchanting, albeit loud, heronry during the breeding season with 15 distinct species of herons, ibis, cormorants, spoondills and storks. In the evenings during this season, the spectacular courtship dance of the Saras cranes can also be seen by either waiting for them near their identified habitat or tracking them by their distinct shrill call. Various land birds are also found in the park, Indian roller, bee eaters, kingfishers, doves and many more. All the more popular as a bird watching destination, the park is also a great place to spot pythons in the winter months, which being cold blooded, come out of their holes to soak in the sun and warm their bodies.
also seen are spotted deer, sambar and nilgai, the largest antelope found in Asia. One can easily spot jackals, monitor lizards as well as mongoose whilst on a stroll in the park. The tourist season picks up in the winter month of November with the arrival of migratory birds and reaches its peak thereafter. The Palace on Wheels, India's most luxurious tourist train, stops at the Bharatpur railway station every Tuesday, bringing excitement and cheer to the rickshaw pullers plying rickshaws in the park premises, as well as the rather well-informed local guides who ride cycles and are aware not only about the birds found in the park, but also the locations where rarer birds like owls, nightjars, etc. can be sighted. As no vehicles are allowed inside the park premises, Tourists can opt for bicycles or rickshaws to see the park or can even cover the park on foot. Having been called the best bird area in the world by Sir Peter Scott, the Kyaladeo National Park is indeed the best bird watching destination in India and one of the best in the world. It surely lives up to its World Heritage Site status and the diversity found here must be conserved not only for wildlife enthusiasts or to educate young minds about nature, but also for the sake of wildlife itself. If you are a bird lover or wildlife enthusiast, then Kyoladeo National Park will never fail to surprise you. If not, come to Kyoladeo to fall in love with its many residents and visitors. <laughs>